<laughs> I'm fine. Welcome to Halloween month. How very spooky. So, on the past birthday streams, I've done The Dark Descent, Rebirth, Machine for Pigs, Soma, and Bunker. We're doing frictional every time. Now, back in the day when I was doing the old uh, reviews of games more, I did a series of videos on Outlast which were controversial, to say the least, because I said it was pretty terrible. <laughs> when it was not at all close to being considered terrible, it was quite beloved. I was unimpressed dramatically with how shallow the game was and how little they put in terms of effort to uh, try and, you know, make use of the player's input, action, and um, atmosphere beyond just Ooga Booga. Lots and lots of Ooga Booga. I'm not a huge fan of that kind of design. And uh, people were compelling me. They're like, you gotta play the second one and review it when it came out. And I considered it, it's just that I got, you know, there was lots of other things going on. You could probably trace what projects I was working on just by looking at the time scale, but I never did play this. And so now I feel like it's about time that I do. And that's gonna be rather interesting, is it not? Rather fun, I suppose it is. Let's see, here we got story, normal, hard, nightmare, insane. We're not doing insane or nightmare because I feel like I need to know the game. Uh, no walk in the park or I enjoy dying. I mean, I enjoy dying in games, right? Do hard? Yeah, I think hard's probably the way to go. All right, we'll do hard. Hard it is. That's what she said. Outlast 2 contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, wonderful, and strong language. Please enjoy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that supposed to be funny? I mean, because it, it, I get it, but simultaneously, you know? <laughs> There's some graphic sexual content. Enjoy! Please, Blake. Come on, Blake. I'm scared. She's scared. Do something. I have a feeling this will make sense by the end of the game. He's here! No! Get away! <laughs> Jesus, Blake. Are you really sleeping? I'm awake. I was you getting jump scared. You were calling out some other woman's name. In your sleep. Jessica, I think. Yeah, it's you normal. Know, which... I can pause. Good. I was simply curious to make sure I can uh, keep track of messages before everything gets way ahead of me. I also, to make it the true Mubler birthday experience, have Baileys. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm gonna like troll drinker if I be in real life by having a barrel of Baileys and be like, let's go. All right, this should do just fine. Just opening it up, ready for whatever we're about to endure. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. Guys, I think we're gonna crash. I think we're gonna crash, and it's gonna be hillbillies everywhere going, Ooga booga! <laughs> we're like, oh god. Audio's gonna be crap. We'll have to- Whoa! Ah. What the fuck? Fuck! Oh my god, did you see that? My glasses fell off and things went blurry. I, I, a character that wears glasses, I feel represented. Sorry about that! The panel's a little soft, but uh, well, we're good. That was exciting. Get as much of the landscape behind me as you can. No. You got me? Yeah, we're good. Um, I'm gonna... Hum. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. Okay. I got the best shot, don't worry. I'm we're sorted. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Uh-oh. Oh. We lost the engine! Fuck! Fuck! Oh no! Oh wow. What a shit door. Woo! <laughs> Horror games! Hey! The cross is upside down, silly. What an idiot! My gosh, who made that blunder? Oh! Well, see, we're safe. All that screaming for nothing. Look, we're fine. We crash landed in a school. Everyone likes schools. Ah! Aura, can you hear my footsteps? And how slow I'm moving? I'm literally like doing a fucking Scooby Doo walk. Like a. Dit, 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 dit. <laughs> how small are these little steps I'm taking? The almighty Jesus stick. Yes. Hey, I can't crouch. Can't jump. No running. Um, uh, alright, we got nothing except look and move. Classic. Oh my! I can't crouch yet, or hide. Ooh. Can't lean either, I thought that was a thing for this game. Maybe I'll get these later. You come back here, mister! Who's shouting? Where's this choir? And they gotta keep this going until I trigger the next part of the song. <laughs> this gotta go, Ooh. Oh, oh, see they're on a little cycle. They gave up for a second there. Doop, doop, 
Scooby-Doo. Hi. Oh. We're not alone here. Alright. Red? <laughs> it's red? All my friends are dead. Red. That's like poetry, so if they rhyme. Press tab red. for objective. What? Review footage? What in the world? So, Jane Doe story part one. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for Newstomorrow.net. We're flying past... <laughs> <laughs> I am glad this is the information we can use. Okay, what about part two? When it was found wandering, barefoot, <laughs> pregnant, and alone. Important events should be captured on video. Press that to raise your camera. Recording will... <laughs> okay. It's a bit cringe, but I'll accept. Oh, shit. Oh my god! Jesus! <laughs> Lynn! Lynn! She might have fallen off the cliff. She'll be fine. Oh! <gasps> oh, dear. oh, fuck me! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! It's alright. It could have happened that by accident. Did not happen in the crash! You don't fuck know this. that. <laughs> that Lynn. did not happen in the crash. The town. Oh! Oh, thank god. I thought we were miles from anything. Woohoo! We're safe. I sure hope there's no hillbillies around here. Oh, I got my lean. Look. Woo. Well, this looks nice. Have you got any batteries? Oh. I'm lost and hurt. I'm lost and hurt. Wait, I thought this guy established that the, the guy who was on the tree, that couldn't have happened in an accident, meaning now we've already concluded that people around here might have done something to him, right? So now we wouldn't be knocking on doors. We'd be like, oh, geez, oh, God. Because the thing is, I wouldn't have concluded someone did that to him that quickly, I guess. I would have just been like, wow, that was a really unfortunate fall, you know? But I guess this guy did. Is anybody there? Stop. Please. Things. Hey. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. You're... This just happened. Oh, I thought he was about to say, that just happened. I was like, please, spare me. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. A few moments later. Oh shit, you're it's just happened. Liar what? Father oh hey man. Liar father Who are you doing? Lies. Who's Liar Father Lies? What? Well, come back. What a bastard. Where are you going, Jungus? Ooga <laughs> booga! Hello! It looks like it's a thing, Such guys. all rather grotesque. The midwife's lament. The babe is coming. Ready the knife. The babe is coming. Night's midwife. Mother to the enemy stained within. God's creation saved the sin. Hallelujah! Holy Jesus! See, people say that they're not cultured, but clearly they are. Ew! What is that? Well, this is incredible <laughs> graphical achievement. In the book alive. <laughs> I'll beat you up with my camera. From seas heaven born, bear, lion, dragon, leopard. Oh. <laughs> what? Was that the scream of the person chasing me, or was that the scream of some someone else? God. What? Oh, Do you Jesus! Want him? I. Oh, God wants me dead. Okay. What? Why would you say that? Hey, lady, I'm just like you. I smoked all my life. I feel like we can have some camaraderie on that front. <laughs> it's old man McGillicuddy. I'm in the long grass now. Any other hillbillies around here? So can he just see me now, or no? I mean, bro is staring right at me. I'm just gonna drink while we wait. I can't say if this is a golem-like, fellas. It might be. Foxes. Hey! Foxes walk upon it. Because the mountain of Zion looks desolate. Foxes walk upon it. Well, I guess we follow the lights. Oh. We cannot only try to be like Jesus. We need to be like God. Yeah, Jesus and the God guy. Let's do it. God has <gasps> it's like an upside down cross. Or this is more of a middly one. Lynn. Lynn. Fuck. 
You don't know that's Lynn. Listen, I'm just the camera guy. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know her. I'm Jesus, actually. <laughs> I'm here to save y'all. Quickly, Charlie, get on! Blast! Foiled again! This game used to have heavily criticized chase sections. The devs released a patch that caused a massive overhaul, cutting a lot of the chases. Some think the patch made it worse, laugh myself, but we'll see. Well, so, from what I'm gathering, it sounds like it truly is a sequel to the first game. They, they didn't innovate enough, and people got bored. I'm assuming- I haven't been grabbed much yet. A few moments later. Booga booga! I like how I just go back the way I just came. <laughs> the guy's not gonna grab me again, because they done their jump scare. Paul, as you- no. It's too long, guys. Get your fucking hands off me! These Lynn, I'm coming, Lynn! Lynn! Oh my god. Nice one, Lynn. You got any batteries? Um... Well, I'm not gonna save you. I'm not gonna risk me, you know? Clearly, they, they wouldn't want her to escape, you know? So they're chasing her. That's crazy. But she luckily had this much time. It seems like they're not chasing her at all, actually. Come on, Lynn! <laughs> Get up, Lynn! This is your one chance! See, lucky for me, they don't know I'm here, so I'd rather not, you know, risk myself. No no reason for, for us both to die. I'm just gonna leave now. Bye, Lynn! You can come follow me if you want. They're, they're gonna make me. I don't want to save Lynn! Oh god, Blake! Are you okay? No! What the fuck?! Hey. We have to run! Hey! <laughs> I had a feeling. Come on, we gotta go. It's like, I don't know. You can just sort of see what's happening. You'd think they would send just an NPC guy to go bleh and hit me on the head or something. God. What did they do to you? I can't talk about it. No, I need to know so that we could help you. Our faith has been proven. Woohoo! He has a time. Oh my I'm god. It is empirically true. Please, Blake, I just want to get out of here. The devil is in her <laughs> belly and <laughs> she is a bogus. I like this guy. He's funny. Let's just get away from this place. Soak the earth with their blood! Stay back! And we must. Oh, well, that was boring. We're already captured. Boo. God, no! No! God wants the child. God wants the child. Get off me! You leave her alone! Leave her alone! Lynn! Lynn! Huh? What is happening? I've watched my father fuck your god to death. <laughs> Listen, my name is Bill, or whatever I said I was named, and I'm not with here. I'm actually here to document you guys and put it on Netflix to let the world know you're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'm actually a good guy. You should like me. Oh, just saying. Putting it out there. I feel like this is all gonna go on deaf ears, but whatever. I doesn't love you. Not like I do. <laughs> he would be licking my glasses and it would smudge. <laughs> and I'd be like, God damn it, now I gotta fucking wipe that shit. I think I'll see you again. Huh? Come on, hit me hard so I'm knocked out. Do it. Ouchies. Wait, they let me go? Oh, shit! They let me go? Why? What? So we got like Hillbilly they Faction. Him mother. Ugh. It's not just the cult. I hate this it's, dialogue. It's two sides. Christians and something else. I was about to speculate on that, but it's like, well, I guess he did it all for me. Right there. Oh, no. For this, our heart is fixed. For these things, our eyes are fixed. I'm so scared. Oh, they're already gone. That was boring. Hey, fellas. You have, like, a maximum range? Oh, it looks like they're coming eventually. why they give up chasing me? Hello? Oh, no! What the f- <laughs> I'm like- I'm just wondering how the AI even works on the hillbillies, and then I- Sorry about blinding you right now. 
Wait, I can turn it off for a second if you want. It's just funny, right? Try to see what their limits and what their uh, activation is. And then suddenly they chase me and then stop. And then chase me and then, then stop. And then it's like, Bleh! <laughs> now this is happening. I, uh, I find these games amusing. Like, I never get close really to being scared. I'm just sort of, it's funny. I'm back in school. I'm dreaming. Thank you. Fucking mind. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I'm back in the fourth grade. And here I thought this couldn't get any worse. Okay, the dialogue's really grating on me. I'm back in the fourth grade. As if I thought it could get any worse. Please, just don't talk. It would be better. Do you remember how much Daniel actually did speak in the Dr. Sen and it wasn't cringe? Kind of remarkable they pulled that off. I did all this for you. Now, once more. Withdraw your shadow from my domain! You better not have nothing spooky happen. A few mo Oh my god. Alright, I need to speak to you. I've been quite lonely in this place, and I need to know what's going on. Well, that's not normal. Was he like the evil janitor who raped everybody? All I did was want to ask him what was going on, but he just fucking jumped at me and went ooga booga. So much ooga boogering. Man. How could this happen to me? Wait a minute. I was in a happy little cabin. How am I here? Oh, hey, man. The outsider. Yeah, man. No, saw they killed you, didn't they? Well, they'll do it if they find you out here. Come on. Thank you, friendly hillbilly. And which side are you on? Why ain't I trying to kill you? I've been unborn. Can complain with Nah, pressed himself on my Anna Lee. Uh huh. And she not but 15. I'm sorry. <laughs> but when he said my grandson, baby, he put in her, was my the Antichrist, and I had to slit her belly and kill the child. What? Hang on, I'm getting there. I'm just wonky right now. Apparently, I've had too much to drink, both in universe and out. I've been gifted with talk my whole life. <laughs> Okay. Jane Doe. Sorry. Your daughter. She was eight months pregnant. Blonde hair, cut like a voice, cut like a voice, cut like a voice, cut like a voice. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Well, well what do you know? <laughs> you seen her? It's why we came. The animations are killing me. They're just so awful. <laughs> but that's okay. It's fine. Is she alright? Please. Mister. Hey, mister. Just tell me she's okay. She's fine. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. And God bless you. Bye. Come on. Get you inside. No, I'm gonna look around. I'm just gonna go now. Bye. I find you weird. Do you have any batteries? Batteries are like crack to me. No, I'm just gonna go a completely alternative direction. Ooh. Oh. All right. Don't be hitting ah. that. Oh. Can I jump over that? No? I'm gonna kill myself with cacti. <coughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Why? But why? Gollum like. Do it again. You guys want me to do it again? <laughs> Gotta get in here. Oh, it was hard, dude. <laughs> it's like a fucking like a, a tabletop ping pong shit. Oh, it's hard to get. You gotta nail it. Oh no. It's so hard to recreate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was a genius moment. Sorry guys, I tried. You broke new ground. I've really made this game more scary by doing that, I think. You really busted your head open, didn't you? <laughs> Fuck yeah, did you hear the noises I was making? You can hide till you're fixed up. Ah, time for a sleep. I'm gonna wake up and someone's doing things to me. It's usually what happens in these games, right? Please, Blake. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I ain't hiding nothing. Righteousness cannot pass in blood by loins. I'm here. Prophet don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and corrupt me. Bro, it's like a granny. You can't handle the granny? God, don't hear dead men. 
God, dude, are you okay? God, even though she... Take your time. Take your time. Farmer Joe's gonna get me. Wait up. Can y'all get me? Ow. Bitch. So rude. Oh my God, they've lived. I like how the blood is helping. Oh no, all the crows are falling. What the fuck was that? It's some bad graphics is what it is. You see them bouncing up and down? Oh jeez. Can I just jump in? Let's see if it resets my health. Whee! Ugh. That wasn't that much of a fall, you little pussy. <laughs> what are your legs made of glass, you fucking loser? Oh look, I have healed, and I didn't even have to use my healing juice. Alright, two batteries and three bandages. See, we saved the bandage by doing that. I'm so glad. Oh my god! <laughs> look at him bouncing. I'm sorry, I'm just fascinated by him. Ooh! Oh, that's nice. Look Church. at that. No, no. It's some kind of heretic temple. You shut up. Let me look around. This is some kind of church? No, it's, it's, it's some kind of heretic temple. My God. Mola, has your opinion on Outlast sweetened over time, or do you still think it's massively overhyped? I still think it's massively overhyped. I have quite elitist views on horror that I imagine many people might even find annoying. I don't know if you've captured this from my playthrough, but I find all this very lame. This whole thing has been just so lame. I guess I, I, I understand why it works, but I don't know why it keeps working. Like, we've had this so many times. It doesn't feel fresh or new at all, but somehow it gets, like, that kind of perspective on it. And uh, The Dark Descent is the king of this genre, and they killed it with that, and it never got better. You can improve on it, like, but it would change the genre, I think. Like, The Bunker was a really cool alternate, you know, not- and then so much like a different thing, genre-wise, I think. But this, I, I just consider this a hollow version of, of something like The Dark Descent. This may as well be a movie. Like, I don't really see the point of it being a Guys, that's a really shittily done texture. <laughs> just saying. It was like a barcode. Well, that was easy. Oh no! Mr. McGillicuddy! What? Oh no! Ow. Well, I gotta sidestep him. I did it. Nope! Oh. There's not a great amount of movement in this. I could do a slide tackle if the game would let me. Alright, you guys know how this works. The more I die, the less patient I get. So let's go! Fuck yeah! Oh my goodness! She sort of- she went real aggressive there and then... What are you guys doing? What's the AI here? What? I don't think I'm gonna get past this one then. He's gonna hit me. He's got like one free hit. I didn't realize there was a fourth guy. You move faster evading cactus. <laughs> Man, his- his running speed is pathetic. Like, this is my maximum. He's so awful. My god, he started the generator! Get him! Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking. What? 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 I jump over this. Oh, oh my god. The cringe. I can't do it. Can I climb up this? Good lord. It's, it's like it half lets you. Wait, no, what? Now where am I? Can I drop down? Fuck, dude. Was any of that supposed to happen? Oh my god, Jigsaw's been here. Sir, I think there's something wrong with your leg. Damn it, all the holes to Satan. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is like... This is maximum Ooga Booga. Ooga Bungo. <laughs> oh dear, the well. <laughs> She's got me. This is the Sarlacc well. It, it, <laughs> yeah, this is Booga Booga! Let's fucking go, buddy! You wanna fucking go? Is that it? 
Oh, I can't even open that. The fuck, man? I can't jump on a table. There's me wanting to make friends. Oh my god, I thought the door was locked. The door opening shit in this is cringy as fuck. Why can't we- Dark Descent solved this. They made it so very custom how you open and close doors based on your speed and complete customization. But in this, it's so fucking cringily like awkward. Ugh, whatever, closed door. <laughs> Eat that, you penis. What? 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 Whoa to the bloody city. What? Outsider. Consume the flesh. God, I'm so fucking confused. I thought I was in the plant. Let me lock the door next time, yeah. Just for the funsies. Jump over this. What the hell happened last time? Oh my goodness. Consume the flesh. Can you fuck off? So am I allowed to jump over that part or not? This is genuinely like Consume the flesh and spas it well. The bones been burned. Whoa. Alright, I think it was like we activated the action, but we were at the wrong angle. And so it like sent me forward when it shouldn't. Do they refresh my battery on death? That seems exploitable. Uh fuck yes. I just realized we can spam it now, because I'll just kill myself whenever we max it out. Mm -hmm. I can't go any faster. <laughs> <laughs> They're crawling after me. What do I do? Oh my god. Jump down the well. It's safe down there. Get the well creature. Let's go. Yes. Oh, what? Wings. Fucking useless ass well creature. Oh, what is. Ooh, battery. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. Come on. I'm fucking ready. I'm fucking ready. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Shake him loose. What the. Bunga bunga! Out of my way! Our eyes are dim. Well, we tried. I think I missed it, whatever I was supposed to do. Yes! Let's go again! This is my favorite part. This is my okay. favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. God, I wish you could do basic human interaction and like hit these people with anything. Because they're just people. And they're not even particularly smart people. At least the amnesia monsters were horrifying, you know. Is that a battery? It's a note. Hang on, fellas, I gotta I gotta read, goddammit! <laughs> he hates you cause you readin'. <laughs> they ignorant. <laughs> oh, this stig is getting older and older, that that musical moment. Ah, you can't get me now. Let the bones be burned. Woe to the bloody city. Consume the flesh. Oh, hey. guys, I'm not too hard to get, honestly. This is a few planks. Oh my god, what's happening? Sino! <laughs> he lost me. <laughs> Where the hell did you go, you reading son of a bitch? I'm gonna ooga booga him. <laughs> Oh, it don't work when I do it. It'd be so funny if he was like, Oh my god! Open door! God damn. So annoying. Hey. God damn it. <sighs> Boring. I have to drive him back upstairs first. Oh my god, what? You're so Boring! Oh, have I gotta hide in the Oonga Boonga room before I'm allowed to do it? Oh, That's just cheating on behalf of the game. Why wouldn't they reward me for doing it up here? What's taking so long? What the hell? He literally saw me this time! He didn't even see me the other times when he came down, but now, what the- That's what it wants me to do. Ugh. Dude, I love how there's like four different options and the, the devs were like, yeah, but you gotta do it our way. 
<laughs> he wasn't allowed to come after me until I did this. Uh, that, to me, I think is the perfect encapsulation of just how little this game is a game. It is a movie, but they desperately want you to just press just the right buttons at the right time to make sure the movie doesn't break. It's funny that we get the Snoy comments on stuff, Snoy movie game, when this is so much more of a movie game than those are. You're robbing yourself of an amazing experience by cheating? Holy shit. That's how you contextualize something like that? I'm amazed. You know, if you just don't use the game as built, you might be able to trick yourself into feeling something. <laughs> Reminds me of the, uh, pretend it's what you want thing. What was the quote? Pretend for a watch through that it's what you wanted and see how you feel? <laughs> well, no, fuck that. No dev, no writer, no director should gain benefit from simply relying on me thinking their game is something it isn't. All right, I gotta see if they can push me past here. Born. Ow. I'll give it to them. They managed to make it so they can move through the tiny holes and they can poke you. Here's another thing that bugs me about these sorts of games is I'm sort of just looking for what the dev wants me to do next as opposed to treating it like it is a very serious, horrifying situation. Again, this is why I feel like it'd be better as a movie. This doesn't feel like it's game ready. But then again, you know, maybe movie games is a valid genre, as crazy as that sounds. Because if it provides a great experience for a lot of people, then I guess, who am I to say that it shouldn't be that way, you know? Oh, well, maybe I gotta push this. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> What's so funny? Are you serious? so embarrassing. I don't- I just- I can't get scared by this. It's too funny. I think what I'm like really starting to realize is just how much work all of you guys will put into this without realizing it. It's- it's you that's making you scared. The game is doing barely anything. I'll say as well, the art direction, like the people on that department have done their job. It's the devs on the mechanical side of things have done nowhere near enough work. And it's you guys, when you play it, I and mean, when I say you guys, I mean who it applies to, your fear of, of the environment and the experience is barely holding together. And it relies on you sort of being so immersed that you're not really considering just how much this is not a game. It's not too far away from a fucking PowerPoint presentation, honestly. You have given everything like to the dev. The devs are like, you must go here and you must do this. You must play this way, please. And don't look at anything for too long. Don't engage with anything for too long. That sort of thing. Can't you say that for Amnesia? I think the mechanics hold up some of the best in this, uh, this genre for trying to break them. You can break them in that game, but they account for you a hell of a lot more. There's a way better push and pull of atmosphere in that game. Way more mechanical fluidity. Like, one of the things that struck me about that game, and they do this in Penumbra if you haven't played them, they try to encourage you to explore multiple options for escaping or engaging with any given circumstance, which I think is super important in a game like this. When you've been, you had your weapons taken away from you, you should be rewarded for creativity and escaping the enemies. Like, when they were designing it, they were like, we don't want to tell people that they have all these different options. We want them to just go into the room and think this is how I would solve it and they get to do it that way. But the way it works in this game is they only had one idea and they make it work for that and if you don't do it that way the devs are like oh you didn't want to do it that way? Whoops. There's another thing I was thinking about in Amnesia the longer you spend fucking around with the enemies the faster they get. You know like the more horrifying you can't fuck with them for as long. You can, I think there are ways to find ways to fuck with them, it's just much harder. They make much better use of the dark to prevent you from just staring directly at their animationless faces. <laughs> Anyone can create jeep gum scares by making the player afraid of wind or a falling down chair, that takes talent. I think so, I guess that's something I said so it makes sense. Seems like the update slowed all the enemies down in Outlast 2, ruining all the encounters. I mean, yeah, maybe, that could have happened as well. Remember they did an update that made it so you can play Soma without the enemies. This is what I was saying about there is a viability for a genre like this. I just don't have much appreciation for it. They're a dime a dozen. They're easy to make outside of 
graphically is the main difference, I guess. But there are people who want these experiences, especially if you guys remember the era for sort of Let's Play, jump scare, horror, that sort of stuff. But I'll be honest with you guys, with three hours in, I'm not sure how much more I can take. Uh, I find this uniquely unfun to play. And uh, I don't think there would be, like, the idea of making any kind of video to express that, I feel like my first video covers it pretty well on Outlast 1. I think Outlast 1 directs the player better. Sure, I'll give you that. I just, um, I think it's easier to direct someone in an insane asylum than it is in villagey hillbilly land. The game is only seven to eight hours. That's, I'm not doing seven to eight hours. <laughs> that ain't happening. Mary! Nope. Who are you? You, sir, are my a traitor. Like The outsider killed me. You have to kill me! Noth is coming back with Mary. He'll hurt her and I'll talk. If you kill me, he won't have reason to hurt her. Please! Yeah, sure. How do I do it? Can I throw something at you? Like a chair? Is there a lever I can pull? Oh, wait, this. No? No. Is it behind the wheel? It doesn't let you. What? What's the, all the big hubbub then? They don't even let me choose? So I've got to hide in here so I can activate the cutscene. Ugh, so restricted. I miss video games. I should have played Astro Bot. It's not much of a spooky game, but you know. All right. Do the thing you want to do, game. I'm going to jump out. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'm inside not. Oh, you suck. <laughs> you, you still talking we as well. Time to flee amongst the skull and immaculate conscience. <laughs> and immaculate conscience. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that why they have that dude there right now? Is so that in case the player presses the button at any point, they can auto kill him with a cutscene? Like, that's so lame. Boo. Boo game. <laughs> What's happening over there? God hates vanity. So do I. Where did Val take her? Make the woman scream. Why have they covered it up with that guy? Can't see. Move. There's the woman. The womb that harbors the Antichrist. They told me this is a horror game. I can't see shit. Oh, wait, the guy's gone. Let's jump out. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, so boring. Oh god, it's gone all the way back, isn't it? Uh, you have to watch the whole cutscene. <laughs> it's funny because, like, if it were me in this situation, I might cower in this little box or whatever, but I also might want to try and save her, and I would take the consequences of that, so to speak. Or I would have killed the guy, or I would have untied the guy such that he could at least make his own decisions or whatever. Like, like there's just so many different things, but the devs were like, no, no. <laughs> No, get in the box. And you're like, okay, fine. Also, he does sound like me putting on a silly voice, I agree. So do I! So do I! There's more mechanics in Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my god, there is. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Where is the woman? Val has her in the mind. You just lie. They never do You'll that, never do they? Get the world dies screaming. Thank you, Jill. God, it is. Whoa, 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 what if he's lying? What if he's lying? Ah! <laughs> I can barely see what happened. I thought this game was all about the gore. Why did they have a guy in front of it for the whole of that? I gotta wait until the footsteps stop, what? otherwise I'll fucking have to watch the whole cutscene again. The oh, how grotesque. I don't get it. If they let me see this, why don't they just watch, show the whole thing? Like, you'd think they would have shown the breaking of her legs and arms and stuff. Also, he got it, like, kind of chill. He just acts to the heart, kind of. You'd think they would have done way worse. Okay, music. Do so you have opinions? What is the music doing? Meow. What the fuck? Meow. Bunga bunga. Son of a Oh, well. No, it's unbearable to man. <laughs> oh, turn that one. Can't see me while I'm in here. <laughs> Isn't this so strange that he just isn't coming through there? I think he would. Wow! Oh my God, there he is! This world is a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's coming for me! Oh no! Get away from me, you bitch! Oh my God, he actually lets me do that. 
Wait, you lost me already? Oh my god. Oh. You should do the trick. Stop! It's so embarrassing. I could fit through that if we could get the gate open. Okay. The door. The chain's broken. Find a hook. Maybe there's uh, something you could use. I think, I think, I think we're done, guys. Too, it's too boring. I'm sorry. IGN gave this an 8.3 out of 10. I, I wouldn't, I would have thought they'd give it an 11 out of 10, honestly. I was never going to be able to get to the ending, James. It was never going to happen, I don't think. If you play Amnesia like this, it wouldn't be scary. Um... I mean, if you're not scared, nothing's scary, if you want to go that direction, but whether or not I'm scared is really not the issue. I thought I laid out all of my mechanical complaints and uh, the lack of options, and then actually directly compared to Amnesia, in which you do get those options. So, I don't find that compelling. I actually don't mind anybody not finding any... I, I had a friend who does not get scared by video games, full stop. Just never does, doesn't work, doesn't do anything for him. It happened, and that's, uh, that is not the sign of whether or not a thing is good. At least not in our line of work. We don't tend to go by how much an individual felt a thing. We try to go with something a little bit more nuts and bolts, how they created the thing. Because, of course, anybody can feel anything on anything. This game has zero mechanics, just slamming your head into a wall until you find what the devs want you to do. Pretty much, I've been thoroughly unimpressed, but simultaneously not surprised. Is this game a Golem-like? Mm, I don't know. I feel like Golem-likes have more, have more mechanics that are just broken. Like I said, I feel like these would be better as movies. Would you say Five Nights at Freddy's is scarier than this? I think you can make an argument that tension is built better, that there's an actual win condition in beating the knight other than walk to spook. That's a tough one. If I had to honestly answer, I'd need to play what would be considered the equivalent. I don't know if it would be the first Five Nights of Freddy's or the sequel or, or something further than that. Like, should I play the best of both franchises to decide? I'm not sure. But, you know, I've not been impressed by either, really. So tired of these games on rails, not even a game. Like I said, I'm surprised people don't say this more about games like this. Outlast had great success, especially the first one. I remember the second one pissing people off a bit. I think we'll wrap up there, folks. This was apparently a video game. Uh, you know, I don't want to deny it that. I'm sure Wikipedia says that. It's not quite the game for me. As you may have known, if you've seen my uh, Outlast videos, I find these games to be a little dissatisfying. But if you want to know more about why, I guess you could check those out as a, a directly compare with something like The Dark Descent. It's what I was making before I started making more film stuff. Toodle pip! Cheerio! Bye bye. time of year, and what's more suitable than EFAP celebrating with a brand new set of terrifying plushies? Introducing the EFAP Halloween plushie set, starting with Mauler the Longpire, a terrifying monster of bloodthirst and long. This cuddly beast is both infamous and primal in his desire to drain the very soul from the world of media. And he's coming for you. But he's not alone. How could the Longpire be complete without his trusty doggo? Ragzolantern! Poised charmingly in his pumpkin, your Ragzolantern will be there to offer his support and encouragement and sarcastic commentary to all your endeavors. This gourd-adorned Shiba Inu will give your pumpkin patch a pantalooned pooch's worth of company, and of course, both of these fine fiendish fellows are joined by yet another. Though his eyes may have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, Fringy the Raven will gladly perch atop your couch, cuddly and at the ready. This Corvid ventures nowhere without his scythe, and he's more than ready to slash his way through all obstacles. But not without the final member of this cutthroat cohort. Hear the bell as it strikes the hour of the wolf. When the midnight sky is red, a beast shall emerge from the forest to plunder your local pizza parlor. Behold, the dreaded werewolf, complete with the sunken eyes of a beast who avoids the searing heat of the sun, carrying with him a slice of his latest victim. 
This legend of the night will surely be a fantastic addition to this crew of dark demons and pumpkin playmates. But that's not all, no sir. Have you ever left home only to worry you're leaving the members of your favorite podcast behind? Do you despair when Mauler's commentary, Fringy's laughs, Wolf's fury, or Rags's puns aren't around anymore? Well, anguish no longer. Now you can stay warm and cozy during those chilly autumn days while constantly explaining to everyone that, no, it's not electronic fapping, I swear. Introducing the official Every Frame a Pause Halloween hoodie. Perfect for lounging around indoors, shopping, long walks on the pier, weddings, baby showers, funerals, Halloween. Christmas, complete with the expected furnishings of the season as well as some gorgeous artwork by Black Soul Odin. The EFAP hoodie is ready to keep you warm and comfy through those winter months. There may even be a surprise guest on the back. Pick up yours today, because once the campaign ends, it'll be gone for good. And don't forget Mola the Longpire, Rags o' Lantern, Fringy the Raven, and Werewolf. Completing the EFAP Halloween set. For every item you pick up together, the discount will increase. Be sure about what you'd like before it's too late, as the spooky season will not last forever. Find them all at makeship.com forward slash shop forward slash EFAP. All links can be found in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the show. We will see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha!